Hey guys, good morning. It's me, Steve, Air Moose. I'm hanging out here in the hangar, Sunday, February 10th. This is Papa X-Ray Juliet. And as you know, we're taking Papa X-Ray Juliet to Oshkosh this year. We will be flying over some remote terrain in Ontario, Quebec, Newfoundland, Michigan, and Wisconsin. And part of the planning for the trip is putting together a proper survival kit. And you'll see it right here. On the float is my uh, kit bag that has everything that I require for survival. It's my kit bag, it's what I have put together, it's what I believe to be required if I was to get into a survival situation. So, we're gonna run through the bag. Once again, it's my bag, you may have your own, but every pilot should fly with a survival kit on board. So let's have a look. Okay, so uh, here's the kit bag. We try and keep it uh, under 30 pounds for weight in the aircraft, because obviously in a 172, weight is a concern. You don't want to have too much weight. But obviously, there's certain things that are a necessity that we will require for a survival situation. So let's run through the bag, and uh, we'll see what we got. First and foremost is um, a good hatchet. So we've got, uh, this is a brand new one, actually, I just picked up. And uh, just a little tiny hatchet. And it's also got a striking surface on the back of it so that we can, uh, and there you go, it's a nice hatchet. So that's a pretty critical thing to have aboard, obviously for chopping wood and making splits and whatever. Obviously a uh, good survival knife is key. And uh, this survival knife is, knife is uh, pretty sweet. Um, it's got uh, striker flint on it and it's got a uh, sharpening as well. Okay, next, let's get the big stuff out of the way. It's just a tarp, big tarp. Obviously, you're gonna utilize it for uh, shelter. You could be using it to build your shelter, could be just to provide cover from uh, rain, but uh, a big, big tarp is great. We've got uh, butane fuel, which goes hand in hand with our uh, cooking kit. So let's open that guy up and have a look. Comes with uh, a pot, a bigger pot, and then um, a fold out uh, butane propane stove with its uh, own little clicker. You screw that right on top of the butane fuel and uh, presto bango, you got yourself a uh, camp stove. Paracord, you're gonna need paracord. Paracord is used for multiple purposes. Uh, tying tarps to trees, tying trees together, lashing trees together. And this particular paracord that I got on Amazon is also fire starter. So you can unravel it and use that with your striking with your knife to start a fire. So paracord, coffee mug, gotta have coffee. Oh, water. So, once you boil water with your kit stove or over your fire, you can actually put your purified water in a water storage bag that you can then hang, and you can use that as your uh, drinking water or for your cooking. Um, so this holds, I believe, two liters. Yeah, this is a two liter bag. In the uh, food kit, we've got some of the, uh, this one's uh, rice and chicken. Um, freeze-dried rice and chicken, so that's great, heat that up, that's a supper. The whole idea here is to put together a kit that is going to allow you to survive for one to two days in the woods until you get uh, help. And I carry a spot in the aircraft, so we should be rescued within about 24 hours would probably be my best guess. So, you know, nice supper, right? So, I'm a big coffee drinking guy, and even though I'm stuck in the woods, and I'm uh, looking for survival, I, I gotta have my Starbucks. So you get these little instant coffee packs, right? So you boil your water 
on the fire or on your little camp stove. And uh, yeah, you're sitting at your local uh, Starbucks having a coffee. Yeah, listen, if you're going to be stuck in the woods, man, you got to have a, a vanilla latte. <laughs> so here's your vanilla lattes. Here's a bit of coffee stuff. Chocolate bar, which uh, is grouchy. <laughs> But chocolate bar could be very important for energy when you're out in the woods. And uh, we have a little uh, fork and spoon kit here as well. Um, I do need to include some more food in my pack. This certainly wouldn't be the complete food that I would take. I would obviously have uh, some breakfast food there as well and some beef jerky, things like that. Got to have a signal mirror for signaling aircraft coming in overhead. We've got some more paracord, got a lighter, got a headlamp, got to have a headlamp, another small knife for use around the camp, some fire sticks, folding saw, there's your folding saw, it's fantastic, whistle. An emergency bivy and wrap yourself up into it. You can also use it as a ground cover. Set of carabiners, absolutely required when you're setting up your setting up camp. Marking tape. So that's as you can see, I've got the kits kind of separated into separate uh, areas. We have a food kit that's kind of kept together. We have fire starting kit that's kind of kept together. Full first aid kit, 100% uh, critical. If you do get yourself into a survival situation, it is quite possible that you've had a hard landing. Um, you may require first aid for yourself or a passenger. So a full first aid kit I take with me. This one I got at Costco and I think it weighs maybe about a pound and a half. Very critical. You need it, gotta have it. Because Sarah publishes a, a, a document, uh, or a book, sorry, called Survival Guide. It's put out by Casara. Get a copy, put it in your aircraft. It is absolutely essential. It will help you in a survival situation. So items that are maybe not necessary, but surely make a night in the woods um, a little bit easier to bear. Hopefully you don't see a bear. Okay. Toe warmers, we live in Canada. Chances are it's gonna get cool at night. So you've got some toe, toe warmers and hand warmers, okay? We are all human beings. We all need to do number two. Number one, number two. So if you uh, are in the woods and uh, <laughs> you need to do number two, you can use leaves, but uh, not so comfortable. So. Bring some toilet paper. Also some wet wipes. Helps you to clean up. Here we have a, uh, a sport utility blanket. Um, it can be utilized for uh, shelter, for a ground tarp. Um, you can use it as an emergency blanket. Got a cheap throwaway poncho for those rainy, rainy nights. And God knows we can get some of those. So as you can see, we got a lot of stuff in this bag, and this bag is weighing in at 27 pounds. So 27 pounds, and you, some people would say, well, that's a lot of weight to carry around in your aircraft. It is, but if you don't carry it, and you do get in a situation of survival, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You have to help yourself so that people can find you and help you. So. It, the first thing you have to do is take care of the bare necessities of survival. Fire, a little bit of shelter, fire, so you gotta have, you know, axe, what we've showed you, axe, a folding, folding saw, you gotta be able to create fire, multiple ways of creating fire, you've gotta have paracord and tarps to create a shelter, you gotta try and keep as dry and as warm as possible in a survival situation. A life straw. 
This here will allow you to basically go up and drink water directly from any standing water source, whether that be a bog, um, any sort of a puddle, a muddy puddle, anything at all. Stick this thing down into the surface, drink out the other end, and it filters out all of the bacteria, all the bad stuff, all the things that will give you diarrhea. And trust me, you do not want that in a survival situation. So, uh, probably not super critical, but a nice little thing to have. It's a, let me back up here. It's a solar panel. So you can charge your phone. It's another little survival guide. If anything, nice to, for boredom at nighttime, if you're laying around in your shelter, you got something to read. Candle. Compass, whistle, some off uh, mosquito bite. In Canada, trust me, you will want some of this. Okay, guys, that's it. That's my kit. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Once again, it is my kit. It's the kit that I carry in Papa X-Ray Juliet all the time. If I'm going for a 45-minute flight in the backcountry, it's coming with me. I don't care. I could get myself in a survival situation at any point in time. It is a mechanical piece of equipment, the aircraft. You could have an engine problem, fuel starvation, who knows what could happen. So please, please plan, put together a kit, what you figure you need, and be safe flying. Thanks guys. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe and we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.